Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make an update video talking about my health. And so here it is. What has been going on? I haven't made a video in a little over four months. And the last video I made, uh, well the last two videos I made were in September and I was experimenting with raw foods. And so this is kind of a follow up with that and also just an update and an explanation of what's been going on and what my plan is. Uh, I'm not better, I'm not healed. Uh, when, I, when I was doing the raw foods, I was, that was September, I was eating a lot of bananas, things like that, and it was working and I was feeling better. And then there was a gap where we ran out of raw foods and so I had to go back to eating cooked. I didn't feel that good. And then the next time I had ripe, ripe fruit, uh, I didn't ever feel good again. Like I didn't, ex I didn't experience the feeling good that I felt when I first did it. And this has kind of been the biggest problem that I've been experiencing, experiencing the last few months. And that is, basically just the uttermost of failing when it comes to getting good quality fruit slash bananas and ripening them correctly and not letting them get bad and it's been ridiculous like okay so here's just a timeline I, I did raw foods, I had a box of bananas, they ripened good, they were sweet, they tasted good, I was starting to feel better. I made two videos, and then since then I haven't made a video. Uh, and then, so I had I tried, tried raw again, and it didn't work, I felt awful. And I guess before I, before I even go into that, let me say what I've learned is actually happening. So I, I definitely have a candida issue not diagnosed by a doctor because I haven't, I don't need to go to a doctor, I know that it's happening. And so I have a candida issue, but I've had this candida issue for a while, I'm pretty sure. And so the real reason why I became chronically ill is because I got a concussion and the concussion is still not healing, it's still not healed because of the yeast and the bad bacteria in my gut that is causing inflammation and just horrible things throughout my body. So my brain is, is still not healed and it's causing, this is the reason why I thought that B12 deficiency earlier in the summer, when I first started to not feel really good, I thought it was B12 deficiency because my hands and feet felt really weird. Um, but it was actually because of the concussion because I got hit right by my cerebellum and it showed up in an MRI, not crazy damage, but just like there's a little bit of something there. And that's like in charge of motion and, and just, it makes sense for all the symptoms I've been experiencing. Uh, and I get really bad pain in the back of my head right there. And it's hard to talk sometimes and it's hard to walk. It feels like my arms like go like limp and I can't use them and I can't walk and it's like I can't it feels like I'm becoming disabled uh, when it happens and when uh, when the inflammation is bad which is basically when the yeast is growing which I haven't been able to get a handle on and so that's pretty much the problem that's what I've figured out is happening and so what I'm focusing on right now is just healing the yeast, healing that candida overgrowth. And so that's why I started raw foods, or I tried to do raw foods. So, the, so back to the timeline, it worked, then it didn't work. And I didn't really know why, I thought it was just a fruit. And so I went a couple weeks, uh, a couple weeks into October now and I realized oh I was taking some probiotics maybe I should keep taking those and then um, 
I still had my parents getting, I was eating like cooked food, like potatoes, a lot of potatoes, not feeling that good. Um, and all this time I've been unable to leave the house, unable to leave the, uh, the couch, uh, just unable to do anything. And even making this video is hard. Like I can, it's, it's, everything is overwhelming. Everything I do is just stressful. And so making this video is kind of a sacrifice to update. Um, but yeah, so I kept, in October, I had my parents still buy some bananas, not boxes, but some bundles. And on October 22nd, 21st, 22nd, I was eating bananas and I started feeling really good again. I started feeling like all the inflammation was going away, the yeast was flushing out, I was having a lot of bowel movements, which was good. And all my concussion symptoms started going away and I didn't feel like it was hard to walk and move and I wasn't so sensitive to everything um, and so I ate bananas like that whole day until the end when I had to eat I, I ate potatoes which made me feel worse again and I was like what the heck like so the bananas work and then they don't work then they work and so from then I, I was like I had my mom start I had I had I made it my mission to just eat raw, like get, eat a bunch of bananas. And so I had my mom just start buying a lot of boxes of bananas, a couple of boxes a week, or like two boxes a week, because I would need to eat like 30 bananas a day um, to get enough calories. And the bananas didn't work at all for like two weeks. And they made me feel so bad because they, they were just feeding the yeast, and I was feeling worse, and I was so sensitive, I felt so drunk. My tongue was like, like snow white, like, like, so white. It was crazy, and I, oh, it was so bad, and it was so disappointing, so I was like, why aren't the bananas working? Why aren't, why isn't the fruit working? And so there was kind of a gap where I had to be cooked again. And then my mom had bought some bundles. And then right before Thanksgiving, I had like a few of the bananas of the bundles. And then I started to feel better again. And then I ate some more bananas from a different bunch or a different group. And I, then I started to feel worse. But I felt a glimpse again. I was like, what? I felt good. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm healing. And then it went away. And so this is when, when I realized, holy frick, like the bananas have to be perfectly sweet. The bananas have to be perfectly ripe. So what have I been doing wrong? Why have the bananas getting been getting messed up? And that's pretty much where I'm at. Like I've been dedicating like I've been focusing on trying to get the, the bananas and the fruit to ripen correctly and I've been failing a lot. Uh, I've been watching so many YouTube videos about what is ripe banana, how do you ripen banana quicker, slower, what messes them up and it's just been ridiculous. Um, I've, I've also in this period I got a lot of Bad, just bad quality bananas, and I'm gonna say the company, they're from Dole. Um, they just weren't good quality bananas for a while, and I think that they let them get too cold in their storage or something. Uh, but so basically, I've been trying to just recreate those, mo those glimpses of feeling better by trying to get the bananas to freaking ripen correctly and get sweet which doesn't seem like it would be that hard, but when you're thinking in the, the cloudy mind of someone who has the yeast overgrowth consistently all the time, it's very hard to like, th like think about things. It's very hard to actually just figure stuff out. And so it's, it's been ridiculous. And since then, so November, that was Thanksgiving, I let the bananas get too warm and too humid. I kept them in the plastic. I kept them 
in closed doors where it got too hot because I've been using the fireplace to heat up the whole house and it's gotten too warm. And so then we started buying Whole Foods bananas and I let them, I keep them cooler. And then I, I've just been experimenting a lot and messing up a lot. And so now we're trying a different brand of bananas and I have, I have a lot of bananas that I'm looking at right now that are not gonna be good. I'm pretty sure they got too warm. Uh, and when, it's weird, like when they get too warm, they, the taste is like, they taste like nothing. And they, it's like the whole, they don't ripen correctly and so the sweetness is not there. And then they go from being just tasting like nothing to being bad, to like being overripe. And so it's like they're skipping being sweet and that's where I need them to be. And so now I have, instead of having bananas downstairs where it can get really warm because the fireplace, I have bananas up in my room and it's not as hot up there. And I'm just hoping, and they're a different brand too. Um, they're the brand that I first started doing the banana thing with, uh, with uh, in 2015. And so hopefully those get turned around, but that's basically where I'm at. I can't leave the house. I have only left the house like once in the last like three or four months to go to the doctor, to basically tell the doctor that, to basically tell the doctor what's going on. And she was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Like your concussion isn't healing because you have the yeast overgrowth, bad bacteria overgrowth in your gut. And so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I've been eating because I know that the bananas will make me feel so bad when they're not ripe. I've been eating beans uh, in the meantime and, and sauerkraut, which isn't that good. Like my stomach still gets super bloated. Like I'm gonna show you like, 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 my stomach just gets super bloated and that's like what's the problem that is what the problem is um, so yeah I just wanted to update you guys uh, I was talking to a few of you just wanted me to update but yeah it's not I'm not getting better really uh, I was this is gonna be a long video uh, so if you're watching this Still, that's cool. But I've just not, not been good. And yeah, I have, let's see, for the last, this month, December, I've been kind of overstimulating myself with my phone, paying attention to sports too much, letting myself get too amped up, which does not help at all uh but the main the main factor that seems to be in the way of me getting better is diet and ripe fruit ripe and sweet fruit that seems to be what helps me but it's just getting that good ripeness down has been the struggle and yeah so as of right now, I'm still, that's just my focus, getting the, the fruit to be ripe. And when I'm not eating fruit, I'm eating beans and sauerkraut and basically just like hovering and not feeling that good, but not feeling the worst. Um, yeah, I think that's most of what I wanted to update you guys with. Uh, definitely because of candida I'm keeping my I'm not eating any overt fats that seems to at least not keep the yeast growing for long uh, when it's growing uh, especially when I'm eating fruit like if I'm just eating fruit even if it's bad like all, the yeast will be growing and I feel really bad but then by morning time the next day it's like all gone like it's all digested and it's kind of like a fresh start um, but yeah, so like I've said, the plan for now is to just focus on the fruit, try to get that good and hopefully I get that going and hopefully things start to turn around. 
Um, yeah, if you guys have any any tips on uh, like raw vegan stuff, ripening. I'm I'm in a pretty cold climate, not the coldest. Uh, it's I mean it's snowy out here right now, um, but there's definitely colder places, so it shouldn't be ridiculous to ripen fruit relatively quickly. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut the video off there. Thanks for watching. I'll probably, I don't know when I'll make the next video. Making this video is not easy. Uh, and then having to go to the computer and look at the computer is overwhelming. And so, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Peace. Merry Christmas.